Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So let's take a look on how to solve this ERD question. Let's read the question first and try to get as much as possible entities that you can extract from the requirements. Intellectual property IP in Malaysia is administered by Pejabat Cap Dagangan dan Jamin Hak. They are located at different branch all over Malaysia. Its objective are to establish strong and effective administration, strengthening intellectual property laws and managing applicants that apply for the ownership of the IP. IP can be categorized into patent, copyright and trademark. Each of the IP categories has their own unique attributes. So if we take a look here, we know that uh, if they have a unique attributes for each category means maybe we need some inheritance concept over here or what we call as specialization. As a database designer, you are required to design a database for IP management systems which needs uh, need these requirements. The first one, each branch has a manager to manage the operation. So we will know the first one, we will have a branch. Branch will have a supervisor. Okay, the second one, a supervisor will supervise many employees. Then we have employees. Okay, the employees. Okay, employees is supervised by, sorry, this is manager, is supervised by supervisor. Okay, so by right, we will know manager and supervisor is also an employee inside the company. So that's why we don't, we don't need to have a manager table or supervisor table because both of these roles are actually a, uh, an employees. Okay. So one applicant can apply to many IPs. So we will know here, we will have applicant. So what they will apply, they will apply the intellectual property. Okay, the IP. So each employee, sorry, an employee will handle many applications by the applicant. So it means applicant will apply. Okay, they will have some application. Okay, application is managed by the employees. Okay, take a look, many applications by the applicants. So it means we will have many applicants will apply for many IP. So they said we, we will have the application over here. Each employee is attached to a branch. Employee is attached to a branch. IP can be categorized into pattern, trademark and copyright. So we have three different uh, inheritance over here, which we will have the pattern, trademark and copyright okay so if we take a look here we have five different different uh, entities over here so let's take a look at the simplest um, relationship first which is employees and branch because if we take a look each employees each employee is attached to a branch so by that we will have a branch table over here Okay, since uh, the question didn't give any of the attributes, so you need to assume on your own. Okay, two or three attributes is, is enough. For example, we have branch ID. Then maybe you have branch name. Maybe you have the branch uh, email, for example. Okay, then uh, it is enough for this one. Up until here, we can stop. Then if you take a look, branch has relationship with, branch has relationship with, employees oops okay branch has relationship with employees over here so we we take a look at employees so this is branches okay so what's the pk inside employees maybe you have employee id then we have employee name employee phone okay as i said two or three is enough if it's not given to you in the question okay so Let's take a look at the relationship. As I said, each employee will have a branch. So then we will know one branch will have many employees. Okay, one branch will have many employees. So if you take a look, each employee must have a branch, at least one branch. Okay, so has employee has branches. Okay, so if you take a look here, as I said, one relationship, one foreign key. So where to put the foreign key for this relationship at the many side? So we will have the foreign key over here. So what is the foreign key? Branch ID. Okay, branch ID. Then if you take a look over here, each branch, each branch has a manager. 
So by right, who is the manager? Manager is the employee. So what we can do here, one manager, one employee will manage one branch. Okay, so if you are the employees, okay, if you are if you are the branch, then of course it is it is will be managed by exactly one employees, okay, managers. But not every employee is the um, manager. So if you are not manager, you will manage zero branch over here. Okay, so this is the minimum minimum and maximum number over here. So if you take a look, one to one, as I said, we can put at at um, the tables that we think more suitable. I think uh, the suitable foreign key for this one is being put inside branch. So what we have here, manager ID. Okay, the manager ID because one relationship, one foreign key. Okay, then what else? A supervisor, if you take a look here, the second one, we are done with this one, we are done with this one. Then a supervisor will supervise many employees. So supervisor is also and employees. So one supervisor will supervise many employees. One supervisor will supervise many supervisors, many employees. So if you are the employee, you will have at least one supervisor. But not every employee is the supervisor. So if you are not supervisor, you will supervise zero employees. Okay, as I said, one relationship, one foreign key so where to put the foreign key inside this table also so by by right the role is supervisor id which is uh, referring to the employee id over here okay because this is a recursive relationship okay so up until now we have take a look at branch okay we are done with branch we are done with the employees and we have done three different requirements over there okay so now let's take a look at another table. Okay. Employees, if you take a look at number three here, an employee will handle many applications. So employee will handle many application. So we have the application over here. One employee will handle many applications. So what's the FK, so the PK application ID, maybe you have the application date. Okay, so if you are, if uh, we have the application, of course the application will be managed by at least one employees. But not every employee will handle the application because not everyone is the clerk. Okay, so that's why if you are the employees, maybe you will, if you are not in charge of the application, maybe you will manage zero application here. Okay, so what's the relationship name? Do not forget the relationship names here. Eh? Handles. Okay, one relationship, one foreign key. So where to put the foreign key? At many side. So here is the many side. The first one that we have is employee ID. So we will know that this employee will handle this application. Okay, so now we are done with application over here. Okay, we are done with application over here. So who will make the application? So if you take a look over here in our requirements, one applicant will apply, can apply to many IP. So by right, who will make the application here? The application is made by the applicant. Okay, the application is made by the applicant. As I said, we have the table applicant over here. Then put the primary key of the uh, of this of this table entity applicant id then maybe you have the applicant name maybe you will help you will also have applicant phone applicant email so it's up to you lah how many do you want to put since oh, sorry not applicant name applicant email okay so it's up to you since it is not stated in the question okay so you can we can assume, however, just assume two or three, it is enough, okay? So, one applicant can have many application because we know that if you are the author, for example, of course, you will not only um, write only one book, isn't it? You can write many books, okay? So, of course, you can apply for many applications of the, of the uh, intellectual property. 
So if you are the applicant, at least you will apply one because if you are not the, uh, you, you are not going to apply. Why do you want to register into the system? Isn't it? Okay. However, an application should be applied by at least one applicant over here. Okay. So if we take a look here, if we take a look here in one to many relationship, as I said, one relationship, one um, primary, uh, sorry, one foreign key. So where to put the foreign key? Foreign key we put at many side of the relationship. So we have the foreign key here, applicant ID. Kalau dengar bunyi budak menangis tu, anak bawah saya tengah menangis. Kalau dengar bunyi motor tu, tak tahulah motor siapa yang tengah merayau. Saya tak boleh motor eh. So motor tu merayau tiba-tiba. Masih tepi jalan kan. Okay, so let's continue. Let's continue over here, okay. Then, what this applicant will apply? This applicant will apply for intellectual property. So, we have the intellectual property entity over here. So, what's the PK? Maybe IP ID. Maybe the IP name. Maybe the IP asset. Okay, what is the asset? Okay, so the applicant will apply for IP. So one IP will be applied by many applicants, application uh, inside applications. Okay. So it's applied in many applications. So if you take a look here, not uh, every IP will be applied, but if you want to put, so it can be zero over here. Okay. So in one to many relationship, as I said, one relationship, one foreign key. So we have to put the foreign key at many sites. So we have here, what they want to apply. So this is the IP ID that they want to apply, that this applicant wants to apply. Okay, so if we take a look here, if we take a look here, we have done with applicant, we have done with IP. So if you take a look, one applicant can apply. So we are done here also. The last one that we have here is IP can be categorized into patent, trademark or copyright. So now we will know that this IP, okay, this IP, will have three different child. The first one is pattern. Oops, sorry. The first one is pattern. Then the second one that we have here is maybe we have the copyright. Copyright. And the third one we have is the pattern. Okay, the pattern. Okay, so we have three different child of, or we have three dif different um, specialization for uh, IP. Then don't forget to put the constraint. We will see the constraint after this. So now inside the pattern, I would prefer to put the PK, FK. The PK, FK is IP ID. Same goes with this one. PK, FK is the IP ID. What's the PKFK over here? IP ID. Then if you take a look, let's take a look on the requirements uh, on the question here. They say that each of the IP category has unique attributes. So by right, we will know that copyright is not the same as pattern. Pattern is not the same as, eh, this is not pattern. Eh? This is the trademark. Okay. So pattern is not the same as copyright. Copyright is not the same as trademark. So we know that the second here, we have all over here okay but if you want to apply can you apply i want to apply ip no it'll be wrong you said i want to apply pattern i want to apply copyright i want to apply trademark so of course the parent cannot become the option then the the constraint here should be mandatory so that's the constraint okay for this uh, inheritance concept then how about inside pattern maybe inside here you have the uh, pattern a pattern invention okay because about pattern this is a uh, pattern innovation okay when we talk about pattern it is about invention or innovation then uh, for trademark maybe you have the trademark logo trademark slogan okay and uh, for uh, for copyright maybe you have the Mm, copyright sim, eh, no, copyright art. Okay, 
copyright art because copyright is about the books, movies and so forth. So maybe we have what kind of art that they have. Okay. So since if you take a look that we have distinguished between the pattern copyright and trademark. Okay. So now we are we are also done with pattern, trademark and copyright. So this is the final ERD for this question. So I hope you get it. Jangan lupa subscribe, like, comment dan share. Okay tipu je. That's all. Thank you.